Now that we have heard about over and under fitting to data, one question remains. How do we make sure that our model does not overfit to our dataset? Overall speaking, it is important to tune the parameters of our model accordingly and monitor performance. It is also important to remember that the model also should not be too simple, in which case we talk about underfitting. How to monitor performance, however, will be explained in the next module, which is all about evaluation. Another way of counteracting overfitting is to make use of so-called regularization. Regularization can take many different forms. In clustering, for example, we could restrict the number of clusters to avoid redundancy. Decision trees, which you will hear about in Module 5, can be pruned, which is a method of reducing the depth of a tree. One of the more well-known regularization techniques, though, is adding regularization terms to the minimization objective of your algorithm. Those regularization terms are typically used in the regression setting and are mathematical expressions. Two very popular examples for this are the L1 and L2 regularization. Both aim at avoiding high coefficients of the resulting regression function. Let's look at an example. Consider a regression task where we want to fit a function onto our dataset displayed here. Let's assume that we fit a polynomial function and reduce the risk as discussed in earlier videos. Now, this could end up looking like this, which looks good for the dataset that we have, but the original function looks nothing alike. By adding L1 or L2 regularization terms, however, we penalize the minimization objective based on the coefficients. This means that the curve is essentially smoothened out a bit, resulting in a less overfitted model. With all of the concepts that we have heard about up until now, I also want to mention two interesting concepts, the no-free lunch theorem and Occam's razor. The no-free lunch theorem tells us, as the name suggests, that there is not one single best solution that we can just always use for solving our task. This means that you will always need to compare different algorithms with each other, as there is no universally best-performing algorithm for all problems. Occam's razor is related to our discussion about overfitting and having models that are too complex. This principle, originating in philosophy, tells us that in case we have many different competing solutions, we should always go for the simplest one. Additionally, this also suggests that we should not overdo it when it comes to designing algorithms and adding complexity to our algorithms. And on this note, this module will finish with a fitting quote of Albert Einstein. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler.